Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, I am going to teach about how to integrate Instamojo payment gateway using PHP, MySQL and Webhook. Uh, it is very simple integration with the PHP and MySQL for advanced functions and customization. Please contact me in Fiverr and the link is available in the description. Uh, if you are not created your Instamojo account, then please use my Instamojo referral link. It is also available in the video description. Both of us will get a 500 rupees referral bonus and if you are using my Instamojo referral link then I will provide additional discount while using my Fiverr services. In case if you are using my Fiverr services you will get that discount. Now let's jump into our topic. First I am going to create two different files form.html and payments.php. The files are available for download and you can use if it is necessary. First I am going to edit uh, form.html and I am using Visual Studio Code, you can use your own. I am going to create a basic HTML form with basic functions. First I say HTML, then head, then body. Then I am going to say form, action is equal to payments.php and method is equal to post. Now I am going to add few input fields, input type text name equal to name and placeholder equal to your full name and it is a required field user cannot leave it blank and uh, we can end this with the br tag next input type email name also email placeholder your email id and it is also a required field next we have uh, one more input field type text name mobile placeholder your mobile number and it is also a required field Finally, we are going to add a button, type submit and pay now is the display text. Let's see how it looks like in our browser. It is a very simple HTML form. If you would like to design something complex, then we have so many videos available in YouTube or you can hire me as your web developer or you can hire someone else as your developer from Fiverr. Now I am going to write our PHP backend application starting with the php open and closing tags inside this i am going to say if empty dollar underscore post if that condition matches then i am going to say echo it is an empty post else now we are going to write our payment gateway integration script first dollar name is equal to dollar underscore post and inside a square bracket we copy the same name from html then we can do the same for email and mobile number. Now I am going to declare a few more variables dollar key, dollar token, and mojo URL. We can get all these variables from test.instamojo.com. We can use this website for testing purpose. You should create a separate account for a login. You cannot log in with your original Instamojo username and password. After login, click API and plugins. Here you can get your key and token. And we have two Mojo URL test.instamojo.com and www.instamojo.com We use test.instamojo.com for uh, testing and we can change this to www on live condition. Now we can go to payments API integration guide. Uh, we have a lot of code for different purpose. Wait some time for a completely loaded website and then click payment request then click php from here we can copy the entire script starting from dollar ch to echo dollar response then we can paste this inside our php script and then we can pass our variables inside this copied script first dollar mojo url and i change the single quote to double quote otherwise this dollar mojo url will be treated as plain text then I am transferring a dollar key and then dollar token. Then edit the purpose of payment, then amount, 
then pass the name and phone number variables currently we are not having redirect url and webhook send email false and uh, sms also false or keep it as uh, true it is not going to make any difference on testing then we can pass our email variable that's it our code is ready and we can upload it in our live server for testing purpose now our form and php application is uploaded and it is accessed through internet i am providing a name email and mobile number in our form on click pay now it communicates with the payments api and uh, it return payment url and so many other informations are also returned from payments api from here your coding will become different for different purpose it is completely based on your application and i am going to explain very simple one before that i am going to test this payment url It is working perfectly fine. The source code is available in the video description. You can download it if necessary. Now I am going to write the script for redirecting user to the payment URL. Payments API provide a response in JSON format. First we should decode it as a PHP standard class object. Dollar decode is equal to JSON underscore decode dollar response. Now we can access the payment URL. Dollar payment URL is equal to dollar decode. Inside dollar decode we have payment request. And inside payment request we have long URL. Now we got our long URL and we can redirect using header. Header location dollar payment URL and i finish this code with the exit now we can test our code now it is automatically redirecting our user to the payments page and it is working perfectly fine now we can write our code for mysql data entry but we will do it in a separate video link will be available in the description hit like and subscribe before leaving this video in our next video, we will learn how to integrate with SQL and Webhook. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.